Hi guys, I'm Marty Kor and today I will try to have another baby in this family and somehow make it work without going completely insane. Let's go! Okay, so as a reminder, uh, Carvos has a lifetime want to graduate three children from college and it didn't seem fair to uh, change his lifetime wish with Inseminator. So what are you doing, <laughs> Marissa? What the hell? Um, yeah. Oh, she was just waiting to give him a back rub. That's nice, actually. Um, yeah, so, uh, so I will try to do it. This will be a lot of work, but I, I will um, try to fulfill this want. Um, even though there will be a big gap of age between the children, so I will have to send them to college twice. Uh, first the twins and then the other child, or maybe the other twins, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope this won't be twins again. So for now, let's just try to keep them happy. Carvos is now afraid of having a child and he doesn't even have a want of having a child because sometimes, actually very often, they have uh, both the want and the fear. So um, yeah, but not this time. He, he is just terrified of it. <laughs> and yeah, can't blame you, you know? She is quite okay when it comes to uh, mood, so she can take care of the children, maybe clean up a little bit. Um, and oh yeah, of course, uh, I I uh, recorded the uh, the previous video in two parts, so then I completely forgot about the mirror and that I was supposed to change the looks of the children. But now they only have one day away to be a child, uh, children really. So, uh, so I don't feel like it makes sense to change their looks now. I will just change their looks when they are already children. <laughs> At least the marriage is happy, right? Okay, and Carvos can eat something. Do you have pizza? Uh, no, you only have cake. But yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, so grab two pieces of cake. I think that will be... the cake will be finished already when you do that. Okay, so... Uh, no, Marissa, don't do that. You need to empty this thing. And you need to take care of your children. Maybe teach them something? Uh, wait, what does she... Oh, she on she can only walk, and he can also only walk, and he wants to learn uh, talking. So I guess we can try and do that. Um, oh, there's another piece. She can have the piece, really, and then yeah, I know. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, you go clean yourself up and just go to sleep. You're starting at 9 a.m., so that makes sense. Uh, what? What? Okay, and now teach him to talk. This will take a while. And she's already sleepy, and he's quite sleepy too. Okay, of course they sleep for two hours, scream for two hours. You know how it is. Uh, put in crib, Addison. Put in crib, Endler. Go. And clean up. Clean the bathroom as well. Clean everything that, that needs cleaning. Uh, I mean, he needs cleaning. Because, yeah, that's the point uh, he has to uh, get to get promoted again. But, uh, yeah, she got the point, because why not? Oh, you start at 9 a.m. as well, but uh, you have a day off tomorrow. So, I mean, t today and tomorrow. But Carvos is... Uh, he is going to work at the weekend, so that's really good, because if they uh, both had a... yeah, a free day on weekends, that would be... That, that wouldn't be very good. Oh my god, and they, they're crying again. No, just sit in the cribs, okay? They will poop themselves in three, two, one, go. Yeah. Carvos, please take care of this, all this crap. <laughs> okay, crap is taken care of. Very good. So now they're hungry, of course. Uh, but you know, they will be children today, so that's one of the last bottles that you're giving. I mean, before the next baby, of course. Now that I think about it, um, they could adopt, but... Uh, 
but the adopted child would never be a continuator of the uh, of the legacy because they don't have the genes of their parents. So, um, and at least for me, the legacy challenge is mostly about the genes. So, and about, of course, you know, oh yeah, wake her up with the TV carvos. That's a very, very good idea. Well, she is waking up anyway, so that's good. But that was a close one, you know? We could adopt a child that is similar to their children age. So that will let me, uh, you know, send all of them to college at once. But I am not sure if that works for the lifetime want. But that would be good. That would be very good. Uh, we can adopt if we have a thousand simoleons uh, on our account, I think. And they don't care that we live in a shithole, pretty much. <laughs> you, it's all about the money, you know. Um, so I think they will be able to adopt uh, at the point where they have the thousand. And that's not really that big of a problem. So, yeah, I think adoption actually... It, it seems like a pretty good idea. Adopting a child in the very first generation, that's weird. <laughs> that child would be only so that I can fulfill a lifetime want of Carvoses. So, it, yeah, that's kind of using a child, I guess, but <laughs> it's just Sims, you know. Um, but that would make things so much easier for me. And there's really no need to make the third child in here. We could easily just go... Even the two are too many right? Because it was twins, it was a surprise, and if they had one child, that would be completely fine and completely sufficient. So, um, so the, th the third one, I don't think we really need to actually make a baby. Yeah, this uh, counts as a child, so I think um, he will... Uh, fulfill his lifetime want if one of the children is adopted. So when they turn into children, I think one day or two days later we will try to adopt uh, also a child of uh, somewhere about their age and that would be pretty cool, yeah. I mean, I was hoping that maybe the third child would, would be a bit more mixed, but there's no guarantee. Uh, it could easily be just a Frick! A copy of one parent. You guys were worrying about the repo man and about the bills that I forgot, forgot about in the previous video and... Well, here he is! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> when I was uh, editing the video, I saw that I didn't pay the bills. Are you really taking the bed? Oh my god, holy crap. Yeah, I mean, we had the 300 to pay the bills. Uh, what, the fridge as well? What the hell is wrong with you, man? And you're taking the door first and then the rest because I saw all the shelves in the fridge. It was empty, dude. <laughs> what? Why so much stuff? How was this 300? A fridge? A bed? And a potty? Uh... I mean, we don't really have to rebuy the potty, but... All the rest... Yeah... These were like two things that we needed the most, so thank you very much! Addison, stop! No, no, don't fall... Uh, Jesus are you really laughing? Is that even possible? <laughs> I thought they always uh, worry when the child is asleep on the floor, but she was just laughing. How? What? You're not even... You're, you're pretty serious. You're not playful at all. That was weird. Okay, we have to buy the bed and <laughs> we can't afford it. <laughs> Probably the objects were worth about, I don't know, 350 or something like that uh, because they were already used, but if we have to buy new ones in their place, that's a lot.
<sighs> Call for pizza again. No, not service. I, I always click on service. Why? It's delivery. <sighs> and we will have to live on pizza again. <laughs> this is just the worst. No, stop bathing. Ah, Jesus. Carvos. <laughs> Why is this happening? We can't afford or, uh, either a fridge or a bed. Not both. Yeah, because this is 450. This is, the bed is more expensive than the fridge. <gasps> and we still need beds for the kids. Oh, that sucks. I mean, wait, uh, we can sell this. We don't need this anymore. So now maybe we can afford both. But I have to uh, remember about the pizza this time. Oh yeah, now we can afford the fridge and the pizza. That's amazing, okay. A lot of fails in this series so far, but at least it's fun, you know? At least he's happy that he's getting new stuff. <laughs> I mean, if we bought a new fridge, at least we, uh, we don't have to worry about the food supplies, because... Yeah, the new fridge is always filled with food, so... Uh, yeah, I think at some point, pretty soon, we would have to buy uh, food for the fridge. So if we bought a new fridge... Yeah, that's settled. I got rid of the changing table and now they are crapping themselves again. I mean, you can rescue Endlor. No, you can't rescue Endlor because the potty was taken away as well. And I, I'm not bu buying a new one because, yeah, they will become children in like two hours. So I guess I can keep them in the in the cribs. And when they are children, they can just take a shower themselves and it's less effort. I would be... A fantastic mother. Yes. They don't even care to let the babies out. Just stay there for half an hour, okay? I can uh, maybe fulfill some little whims that you have. I mean, you're pretty fine. It's not the greatest, but you know, what can you expect, right? Um, you, oh uh, yeah, you want a lot of stuff from Carvos and you want to uh, be tickled by Marissa. Okay, that I can do. Carvos is studying, but I guess he can spend some time with his daughter right before she's becoming a child. Um, what do you want? Red to play with Snuggled. Okay, maybe snuggle her. That's nice. Yeah, I know they stink, but they, they will just take showers on their own, okay? <laughs> you don't have to take care of them. Okay, Carvos, just put, put her down. Uh, is he supposed to be... No, he's not supposed to be first, but... <laughs> What's with the dreads? Uh, but it doesn't really matter that much in this game, because it's always just 6 p.m., right? So you grow up. Oh yeah, and you uh, bubble bath? Nah, just take a shower, dude. Mom, I'm too big for you to peek on me in the bathroom, okay? I can take care of myself now. I can eat pizza <laughs> and everything. Oh yeah, he looks totally like Carvos. He's just the same. And she looks exactly like Marissa. Mm-hmm, that's right. I'm wondering if maybe they have the same lips at least. Yeah, I think they have the same lips. So at least there's that. And the lips are from Marissa, I think. So he is more mixed than her. Yeah, because she has the whole face after her mother and he at least has lips after his mother and the rest after his father. At this point, I think I am more uh, leaning towards... Um, Endler to be the continuator of the legacy, but we'll see. It's all, you know, it's not even close to the moment of deciding, so yeah, I still have a lot of time to think about this. So we'll see what... no, maybe let's leave this. Um, we'll see what they are like when they grow up a little bit. Okay, we can afford only one bed. I don't know how we're supposed to do this. <laughs> but... Oh, Jesus. I mean, we can't even afford a double bed. If we could afford a double bed, at least maybe they could sleep in one bed. 
that would wouldn't be too bad, I guess. But yeah, we can't afford it. I mean, we could sell the TV, but if the kids uh, come back from school and their fun, uh, you know, drops really drastically when they are in school, that could be a problem. Hmm. I'm thinking, wow, this TV is pretty expensive. Crap. We could have a whole children room uh, for that money. Yeah. Now I'm thinking about a desk maybe or something similar. I guess we could, huh, I'm thinking. Uh, because there's some space in here, but... Um, Okay, maybe let's do it another way. I have the desk locator and that would make things e make things easier for me. So let's put a shelf somewhere here. Uh, that doesn't look very nice. Maybe like here. Pretty high because it's not supposed to be, you know, something to reach. <laughs> it's just supposed to be the desk locator and you can fit two on the shelf so that if they uh, when they claim the desk locator they will put the um, their homework in this room specifically uh, there doesn't have to be really a desk anywhere near it's just that this room will be officially the direction for putting the homework so uh, at least they won't <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ <laughs> So at least they won't put the homework, you know, just in the snow or whatever. Oh wait, no, no snow. There's no winter in this, <laughs> in the, on this island. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and he he wants a child. Okay. I mean, huh? Th does adoption work as fulfilling this one? I don't even know. And it doesn't matter at all if it's uh, if it's a boy or girl because we have both. So yeah, whatever, man. And even the name, whatever name this child will get, I will probably change it, change one letter in it. I think that's, yeah, okay, we'll do that with the greatest mods of all time. Yay. Okay, you, uh, the bathroom is uh, occupied and for you too. So I think at the point of having five people in this house, uh, Orlando... Please don't do that. We won't adopt you, okay? Just go away. <laughs> you have to wait. Yeah, with with five people in this uh, house, we will have a lot of trouble getting into the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, Carvos, g give us some pizza. Will ya? Thank you. You, change your looks and grab a slice. Of course, first grab a slice and then change your looks because pizza is more important. No, not a bath. Shower because it takes less time and your your mama wants to take a shower too. Respect your mama. Really, Carvos? You took all of the trash that was in the endless, uh, bottomless trash can and just put it in this smallest trash can ever. Okay, now you look quite better. And uh, his clothes are completely normal and even uh, the color really suits him because it's red and he's blonde, so that goes really well together. And she has this hair and it's fine, I guess, but probably there's hair that uh, will look better on this face. Yeah, this is pretty classic, but it looks nice. And it kind of feels like uh, Carvos has naturally waved hair, so it makes sense for her to have them too. And this is the only hair that is so shiny in this game, right? Okay, you stinky butt. Go, go take a shower finally. Someone has to take a shower in the morning, and I think that will be Carvos, as the only person, probably. Oh wait, we don't need this. <laughs> okay, this looks nice under this shelf, and we could put something else here later, maybe maybe a wardrobe finally, why not? Okay, we need a picture because I, uh, yeah, I, I got rid of the TV, 
but a picture is always good uh, to what is this? <laughs> um, to you know, get some fun because when you look at it, you when you view it, you uh, you get some fun. So now it looks like a children's room, kind of. Where are you going already? Ah, okay. At least they're having fun together, so that's useful to have two kids, I guess. Carvos go and make money for a foster child. Are you guys going to school? Oh, it's Sunday. <laughs> okay. I thought something glitched. They have pretty good relationships with each other. A happy family. He wants to learn physiology? What? Be swung around. Uh, swing around. That's not swinging around. That's red hands. <laughs> oh, and you want to learn couples counseling? That's some weird wants. Okay, time for breakfast. We only have one chair, but that's fine. Yeah. Uh, that's... <laughs> Such a nice family. Oh no. Ah, nature enthusiasm, okay. It's good they all go at the very same time, because they are all from 9 to 3. That's so nice. I don't have to worry about the children being alone at home. Oh yeah, that's definitely something that is going to happen, Marissa. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and now he has the want and the fear to have a baby. Typical. Carvos. Yes! Okay. Now we can afford to adopt, I think. But... Wait, because when I call... If I call now, they will bring me the child tomorrow at 10. So they will already age. So considering that the... Uh, the new child will have the original, the default lifespan of this uh, particular stage. The child will be two days younger than them, probably. So that's the perfect time to do this, really. Marissa, stop. No. Okay. You don't meet the required financial standards. I'm not sure what the standards are then. I guess I can Google it. Oh, the adopting household must have at least 3,000 on hand. I mean, we can still spend the money because you don't actually spend the 3,000 for the adoption. So we can just take the child and then just do whatever you want with the money. But, uh, but still, we have to gather the money. So that's a lot of work. I guess we can give it one more day. Because Marissa is going to work tomorrow, so I think when she's back, we will more or less have this amount, yeah. And uh, if Carvos uh, brings uh, his money, yeah, that would be definitely at least 3,000 on hand, so... Okay, let's wait for the dreamy foster child. Science teacher, hmm, wow, that's ambitious. And they're going to school, yes. Sunday was so boring. Oh, I forgot to put the uh, this in the fridge. Maybe Addison can do it and just walk to school. Yeah, I know. She She's going to school, okay? I know it's not a good idea. Oh, wow, okay, this. Demoted, of course. Oh, my God. But we still will be able to afford the adoption, so... So that's good. She is just going down all the time. She was level 9 when she moved in and now she's level 7. Oh my god, okay. This is not good. At least when she's promoted again, she will get the bonus. So we will actually benefit from that. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, and the Gavigan kid already. Is, has already been brought from school and we won't be able to call him because he's in the family bin so whatever okay let's call the adoption service then we are just hardly above 3000 but it'll work that's the most important thing 
Yes, I want to adopt a child. Big decision, I know. We are all confident that you'll make a great parent. Yeah, I already have two, so... Okay, great. Addison, where did you put the home... Really? What's the desk locator for? That moment when your dream of be getting promoted comes true, but that's be because first you got demoted. Hmm. Oh, she didn't get promoted. I just now noticed. <laughs> oh well. I mean, still, we almost have 4,000 simoleons. That's a lot. That's a lot of simoleons. And now that Marissa works at night, that actually works for us very well, because she... Uh, she's always home when... I mean, she's sleeping, but still, she is home when they go to school. So that's not a problem with, you know, that Carvos is going at 8 a.m., so he would maybe have to stay uh, one hour or something. But uh, but yeah, but, but that works. And also Marissa will be here when the foster child comes. And Bill's today, but... There's absolutely no problem in paying them. I hope I won't forget. Oh, I didn't save before, I forgot. But, uh, okay. Let's just get a child. I mean, as I said, the gender doesn't matter at all. Okay. <gasps> it's a ginger boy. With a monkey face. And an apron. <laughs> okay, then. The music! Uh, where are you? What was with the hand? Are you okay? Oh, that didn't work as have a baby. Huh. But I hope it works as the lifetime wish. Oh, yeah, I know exactly which template that is. And it's not pretty, okay? And he's already cleaning up. And he wears an apron. That's... That's too much, man. That does... <laughs> <laughs> doesn't look very good. I think he's generated, so maybe... Yeah, he's becoming a teenager in seven days, not eight. Okay, so there's only two days of difference between them. That's very good. Oh, hi there. Our little maid. <laughs> oh, no. No, we, we, we gotta, you know, find him some new clothes. Because he looks like a maid too much. And he's cleaning up and he's wearing an apron. That's just not how it was supposed to be. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be service. That was supposed to be our child. So spawn. Wardrobe adjuster. And buy a new outfit every day. For a child boy. Uh, <laughs> he has this. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Can't you have like this? This is so much better, or this, or just whatever. Okay, let's go with this one. We don't have a wardrobe, but that's just a matter of time, because we have the money. Uh, so, hmm, what can I do? Oh, wait, what's his name? Jeff. <laughs> My name is Jeff. This boy is just such a meme. Oh, no. That's a nice name, but we have to change it. Uh, I mean, we don't really have to change it, but I uh, what? But I just had an idea that we could change one letter. What letter can I change in Jeff so that it still sounds like a normal name? Because Jeff Genesee, that sounds kind of weird, right? Okay, I know. Took me a minute, but I have an idea. Seth! Because it's kind of like Seth, but with an F. Seth. It's like Seth said in a Cockney accent or something. <laughs> Seth. Yeah. Hey, that sounds nice. Seth Genesee. <laughs> I like that very much. Okay, Seth, we need to give you some space, right? Wait, I wanted to check what your eye color is. Is it brown? Yeah, it's brown. Okay. Okay, first of all, what do we need of objects? Uh, we need a TV, probably. We need a cooker, that would be nice. And uh, what else? And a wardrobe. And I think that's it. So let's buy the three things. Um, and then with all the rest of the money, I will uh, just expand the house as much as I can. 
I'm thinking if the, if the TV is really that needed because fun is not really that much of a problem now that we have these pictures and they can play red hands with each other and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I guess the TV won't be the highest priority. Maybe at some point we'll get a computer and they could just play on the computer. Okay. So we also need a wardrobe. Maybe let's not buy it yet because I don't know which, uh, w which one I will get, but let's say this will be somewhere like 400 maybe. So I will just try to leave the money for it. And also for the bills. Yeah, also we have to pay the bills. So, show me the bills, mama. Uh, yeah, 375, that's fine. Okay, that's done too. I'll put this maybe here. Okay, because I will, uh, as I said, I want to expand the house this way. Just do it like, yeah, uh, like a heart, I guess, <laughs> heart shaped. That's cute. Um, but okay, first we need a bigger room for the kids. It can still be for all of the kids together, but it just has to be bigger. And I think I need 400 to... Uh, I mean, when Carvos is back from work, I will have enough money for the wardrobe still. But no, okay, let's let's leave it and then maybe just uh, we'll do some walls and stuff like that. Because I want to um, expand the house, but you know, it will be empty for a while uh, and uh, at the point when we are able to finish it We will make rooms in uh, in this part of the house and maybe just uh, make uh, some rooms bigger and you know um, So I think we will go uh, I really want to make it even I want this entrance this this thing that is an entrance now, I want it to be the back door. So here maybe we'll have a fence or something and there will be like a garden uh, and the front door to the house will be here. That's my plan. Uh, so that it's closer to the, uh, you know, to the center of the, um, of the lot. Uh, so that when, you know, cars and everything just uh, come here, it will be closer. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that makes a lot of sense to me. And this bathroom will stay. I just feel like it's so nice to leave this bathroom as it was from the very beginning. Maybe we will make it a bit bigger, but uh, but it will still be here. I think for eternity <laughs> for this house. I, I think this is this one thing that will stay, you know, from the very beginning to the very end. To use this, we will have to have more money because uh, this... Uh, using this means just uh, changing every single uh, room in this house, okay? Because we have to just adjust everything. So um, so when we gather like 2,000 maybe, uh, I will uh, use this, uh, this part of the house and I will make the entrance here and, and everything. Yeah, but for now, uh, this will be empty just close with walls, uh, with no windows and stuff like that. And uh, here there will be the room for the kids. Uh, I don't know. And we have another, we will have another bed. And uh, when Carvos is back from work, uh, I will get the wardrobe when he comes back from work because uh, it made a lot of sense to just finish the wall here and we could afford it. So, so okay we might need a bigger table for eating but uh this will be what what is happening here something is definitely not right in this place do you remember the phone the the, the, the phone was just doing weird stuff when i tried to put it somewhere yeah th this is there's something really wrong here and i'm not sure what exactly but this is not right <laughs> This is definitely not right. Wait, if I turn off the cheat, can I put... Okay, that's super weird. Okay, and the... wasn't the trash can outside? I think it was. Okay. I'm wondering about the fire alarm and also it's doing some weird stuff, but okay. It's like there's a 
diagonal wall in here somewhere. It doesn't make any sense. I guess we can have it just for safety, you know, but in a shithole like that, no one would have a fire alarm, okay? But they can afford it, so why not? Now we are definitely getting somewhere. Look how nice you live now, Marissa. You're almost rich. What's the... Oh, 18,000? That's not that bad. This is longer than this, so it's not really heart-shaped. But... I'm not sure. Maybe I will even expand it more and maybe we'll go this way. I mean, now the garden will be a bit small then. I will think. Because we will need a lot of space. Wait, we can move this door here and we can have another chair. Not another paint, another chair, I said. Okay, that's a room now. Say hi to your new brother. Not you. <laughs> Carlos, say hi to your new son. That's Seth. That's so much better. They put homework in random places anyway. Okay, I think that's it for today. I played a lot because the kids are, are already four days away from being a teenager. So, uh, and... Um, <laughs> So that means Seth is six days away, so yeah, that's a lot of progress. Okay, we'll see what happens next. If we can, um, you know, expand the house more and make the front entrance and everything next time. And yeah, as always, thank you very much for watching, subscribe, and comment if you like the video, and see you in the next one. Bye!